Hey what's up guys, OSJ here with another Commodore 64 software house video and this time it's the awesome Epics. When you think of sports games on the C64 there's one software house that immediately springs to mind and that's Epics. But they did do other genres too. There are a couple of games in here that I wouldn't normally include as they are licensed games but they have name differences and slight code changes so they are in as they are what the American followers will know the games as. Anyway, Epics released 60 games for the C64 so I've looked through them and this is what I would say are the 20 best Commodore 64 Epic games in order of greatness. In 20th position is Impossible Mission 2. This is a follow up of the original game and for me never lived up to its predecessor. The game is much the same, in fact too much the same to be honest. So playing this game, although it's not bad, didn't really add nothing to the classic apart from a graphical change. Stay a while. Stay forever. 19th place is taken by J.I. Joe. This is a really enjoyable game that is based on the J.I. Joe cartoon of the 80s. I remember loving this game as I was into the action figures too. Anyway, it has an array of different game styles within, making it a game that I never got bored of, and the two player mode was great too. <laughs> Destroyer is in 18th place. This is a marine simulator. It has great graphics and the gameplay is nice, although a bit slow. I play this quite a lot, but after a while it can become a bit boring if you aren't a die-hard simulator fan. In 17th position is Chips Challenge. Ok, so this is a weird one as it wins no awards for either the graphics or the music, which let's face it aren't the best, but what it does have is some of the best puzzling gameplay on the C64, making this a game that you forget about the looks and the sound as you are so engrossed in solving the puzzles. Sixteenth place is taken by Jumpman Jr. This I think was a US game as I can't remember it or the original back in the day. Anyway, it always gets mentioned from my American viewers in the comments and it's a great platform game, although somewhat basic looking. Gateway to Ask is in 15th place. Great little adventure game here. Really simple to play and as you can see it's not the best looking game for the system but the gameplay is brilliant and will have you engrossed pretty quick. In 14th position is the first repackaged game on the list and that's Death Sword. Now anyone from the UK or Europe will be thinking that this is Barbarian and you were right, but Epix got the license to release it in the US and they changed the game to Death Sword, but it's still a great game that we all love though. Thirteenth place is taken by Sword of Fargo. This is much the same as the Gateway to Asfi and plays slightly better. The random generated dungeons make this a game that throws up new surprises all the time. Thank you. 
Super Cycle takes 12th place and this is everything that Super Hang On should have been. I first saw this on the Amstrad on Xyphos or maybe Nova Bugs channel and then I immediately searched for it on the C64. It's a super fast motorbike game that is a lot of fun to play. In 11th position is the Temple of Asfi Trilogy. This was released two years after the Sword of Far Goal and the Gateway to Asfi and is every bit as good as those games in gameplay. But as you can see, they have upgraded the graphics, making this a much more enjoyable experience all round. Tenth place is taken by The Legend of Black Silver. Now if you know this game, you maybe think that I'd put it too low, but it's a game that although I like it, I never had the patience to get into it fully. The depth of this game is immense, and it's definitely one that I have on the list to revisit in the near future. Pit Stop 2 is in 9th place, this is probably one of the most played games I had on my C64. My best mate was a total racing game fan and we would play this for ages. It's got some great features like tyre wear and actually doing the pit changes that I can't remember a game ever having before. In 8th position is Jumpman, it's a great platform game that's high on the list due to the fact that this is the original. The gameplay is almost identical, but there's something a little bit more enjoyable about this one. If you haven't played any of the Jumpman games, then this is the one to play. Seventh place is taken by World Games, and as you will see, from here on in, this list is dominated by sports games. I'm sure that most of us will have played World Games. It's an alternative sports event game with barrel jumping, log rolling, etc. That is super addictive, and as with all epic sports games, it's class in multiplayer. Summer Games takes 6th place. This game features an array of Olympic games. The graphics, sound and overall gameplay is brilliant. When it came to athletic based games, Epics knocked it out of the park and I still play this on a regular basis. In 5th place is California Games. This is another one that I played all the time with my best mate. As I was heavily into BMXing and skateboarding, this game really hit the mark. The surfing event was my favourite, and this is a game I have on multiple systems as it never grows old. Fourth position is taken by Summer Games 2, the sequel of Summer Games and it has all new events including the Triple Jump, which although hard to master was one of my favourite from the two games. Only slightly beats the original for me though as it has more events I like in it.
Well, Karate Championship is in third place and it's the second game on the list that is a repackaged game. This, for anyone who doesn't know, is a US release of International Karate. The only difference between the two games is the title screen and the fact that in this version you can choose where you want to start fighting, either in Australia or Egypt. This is one of the best karate games ever made though. In second place is Impossible Mission. It's a truly great looking and playing game with class sound effects and atmosphere. The character animation is so smooth. The puzzles are hard but doable making this a game that is loved throughout the C64 community. And now, in first place is Winter Games. This is by far the best real sports game on the system. Every event is fun to play, although figure skating and free skating are really hard to learn. It's a game that will always have a special place in my memories for all the time I spent with my mates on it. Ok, that's it for me. Let me know in the comments below what your favourite epic games were. And if you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like my stuff. Till next time, this is OSG, signing out.